New at five, there is new anger and frustration after a Columbus teen was struck and killed while trying to board her school bus. That outrage is coming from parents and bus drivers who say that they see this type of reckless driving every single day. News 8's David Williams has that story. Megan O'Neill has driven school buses for Shelby Eastern Schools for two school years. It affords me time with my, with my son. The district provided this video which shows a driver going right past a stop school bus with stop arms out in December of last year. O'Neill said it happened to her a few weeks ago while her bus was stopped. The driver sped up to get through the stop arms before they fully extended. How did that make you feel? Angry as a parent, especially angry. On Monday, 16-year-old Lily Strevall, a Columbus East High School student, was killed in a hit and run. According to the Bartholomew County Sheriff's Office, police have arrested the 25-year-old driver they believe hit her. Katrina Falk is Shelby Eastern School's transportation director. They sometimes see people totally ignore school buses. We put out on social media multiple times a school year. When you see a school bus, assume that it's going to stop. When you see the yellow flashing lights, that's just like a traffic signal. That's your warning that the bus is about to stop. If you see red lights on a school bus and the stop arms out, stop. Both Falk and O'Neill say school bus drivers typically put the yellow flashers on roughly 200 to 300 feet before the actual stop. That, they say, gives drivers roughly 10 seconds of advance notice. Preschoolers are in five-point harnesses, um, so by the time we get them unbuckled, their backpacks on, and then the winter, their coats and things, you know, you're looking at 35 to 45 seconds that that person may be stopped behind me or in front of me. So just having a little patience, you know, they're not saving that much time by running that stop arm. Falk tells me these stop armed cameras are on several of their school buses. The cameras can capture traffic coming and going. One of the cameras captures the license plate and can zoom in clearly, even if the car is going 60 miles per hour past the school bus. Falk says the plan is to put external cameras on all buses. Even if you don't have children in our school district, that is someone's baby. Unless the road is divided by a physical barrier or an improved median, here's what you have to do. If you see the crossing guard extended, if you see the stop arms out, if you see the red flash of lights, state law requires drivers to stop when a school bus is picking up or dropping off children. In Morristown, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.